As the Lakers lose another tough one to the Warriors. That makes it 0-3. The first two went to overtime. This one up in Golden State, James. I guess the big story here for us, at least to start with, Lakers were down big in that third quarter. It just looked like, you know what, they, they end of a long, <laughs> a long uh-huh. road, right? And it was just one of those games they were going to get rolled. But they fought back and actually took an 89-88 lead. And, and I've seen them do this a few times uh, this year, whereas in the past – they get down 10 to 12 points. That lead usually goes to 30, 35, and they're out of the game in the second half. This year, you're seeing a lot of grit, uh, a lot of determination, a lot of fight, and uh, a lot of togetherness. And, you know, they know that when they're down, they're capable of coming back. And that's what they did in the fourth quarter. They scored 34 points in the third quarter, but they came alive, uh, you know, distributing the ball, um, Brez, I just thought they, they did a pretty good job collectively. Everyone contributed. James, I, I could not agree more. Last year, they lost 15 games by 20 or more points. This year, it's only one. Look like it might be two tonight. Yeah. And that's still not bad for, you know, we're, we're over two months into the season now almost. And these guys came battling back. You give them a lot of credit. Remember, they're without Brooke Lopez. Remember, KCP has kind of been shuffled in and out of the lineup. Mm-hmm. But one thing, an, an old little nemesis came and caught them. And, and drag them down a little bit, defense. Yeah. All right, You had uh, Casey B getting stuck in transition defense. Julius stuck in transition yeah. defense late in the game. And B.I. got caught B. on a backdoor well. pick, too. 